Hi, my friend. Merry Christmas. It's Pat Sloan here, and today is the last day of my Christmas parade. The Christmas quilts, a lot of Christmas quilts. I think there are. I didn't share. I had more. I could have done one a day. I think since the beginning of the year. I have to do when I put them away. I'm going to count how many I have, and maybe I'll do that next year because I just I didn't start this at the beginning of December, and I'm not really sure how many Christmas projects I actually have, and so I will I will have to do a count. So we're, today is I believe, and it is is the um, my premier hand applique piece that I designed because when I was doing this was very early on and I was doing a lot of hand applique and uh, all the time and so if you do something like that all the time your skills get really really good and I uh, I enjoy doing it by hand and it's probably about the last one that I hand applique and then I convert over to machine applique because it was much more convenient to do it that way and it took less time uh, because this would have taken me more time but I did a lot of the blocks on travel and things like that uh, so I'm going to take you up through the blocks because when I designed this I did a sort of what you might call a storyboard so I took and put down words and things that had Christmas meaning to me at that point in time and I used those to design all of these blocks and I will give you a little tour now let me take you through all the blocks on I believe one of my favorite quilts I've ever done uh, it is all hand applique needle turn method this uh, snowflake, of course, you have to have snowflakes for a winter uh, Christmas quilt. And these were inspired by vintage quilts that have similar style snowflakes, but like in repeat blocks. And I designed my own snowflakes and did beautiful little stars. Then we have the sugar plum fairies. Uh, <laughs> because you have to have some you have to have some magic during the Christmas season with the little hearts on the circles and they have angel wings I have a beautiful cardinal to show what happens in our outdoor nature and a little birdhouse above with snow on the branches down is the word I believe with X and O hugs hugs and kisses Front and center, I put Granny's house and Pappy's shed. Uh, Granny and Pappy are my were my dad's parents. That's what we call them, and I I really loved sort of paying a tribute to them because my Granny was the queen of holiday decorating. I wrote about her in one of my books. Now I was doing this when I was doing a lot of folk art, and crows are a big part of folk art, and so I put a crow with my holly branch and bittersweet. I guess you don't really find those together, but I thought that seemed neat. <clears throat> These little nosegays that people hang on the door and you fill with candies. So I did mine with um, a striped fabric for the candy canes and then peppermint swirls, little stars. Here is the cookie jar. Uh, like Nana had the best cookie jar and she didn't bake the cookies but she went and bought them neither of my grandmothers baked the cookies they both bought them but here's the cookie jar with the spoon we have a beautiful poinsettia down here because it is the flower that is amazing at Christmas time our long stockings that we can fill and put by the fireplace with lots of little goodies and treats and then I put a little stick tree which I think is darling with the uh, little balls on the end and a star on top so let me just pull back and at my website today I have a full-on picture this is a pattern of mine and I'll link it so that if you want to make an I believe you can any of those blocks would actually make a cute little wall hanging if you have a small space. I think in particular someday I would like to do the snowflakes like that and just do a little banner, you know, like that place behind my door or, you know, like this, do a little banner like that. I think it would be so darling. And any of them. I've had people do the house before by itself, um, the bird bath and the on the branch because that's um, more, you could make that wintry. You could do it in blues. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? So yeah, that is, um, that is, I believe, in the holiday spirit. Okay, the other thing we have today is 
the Snapdragon uh, quilt along. We are on week of four and we only have two weeks after that, which is fabulous. Then you'll have a finished quilt. As of taping this, there were only a couple of kits left. And so if you wanted a kit, you might as well go get it. Uh, here are the blocks so far and I've sewn that whole section up. So that's all sewn. And the next two blocks we have will be the blue on the left. So this will be the first one and from my sleepover fabrics and then the pink one which is actually the same fabric uh, blue and then pink and they this will be the middle block for this particular row and i then will be able to put the strips i will be able to do a strip on the outside between the blocks and the outside of the second block so i'll have all that whole section ready for next week there are no socialites blocks this week. There's a buy for the holiday, and then next week is the next socialites again on the 30th. I think that's what next Friday is. <laughs> so you will be, we'll be back to the socialites on that day. Now I thought I would do two more things today and just be kind of a chill day here, getting ready for the holidays because Remember, I won't have a video again until Tuesday. So the next video after today is on Tuesday. Um, but first, before that, I have a little uh, quilt parade. I just gathered up some random quilts from our community page to show you. And I thought I would just sort of uh, go through a little quilt parade and then I need to make a pillow. And so I will show you a little bit of the process of making a pillow. And actually I will make the pillow <laughs> and finish it and show you the finished one at the end of this video, you know, so it'll be breaks where I'm sewing. Uh, but I have to do a pillow for my neighbor. And of course, it's like, what, a couple days before Christmas and I haven't done it yet. And so today is the day and I will show you that. So let's take a look first at the quilt parade. So let's look at Betsy's Betsy shared her solstice quilt. It is so fun to be able to see your solstice. This one is bright, fun, happy colors. Now, Bonnie, she did her solstice, but at the time she said she wasn't into asymmetrical quilts and she thought that they would be better if they were all 12 inch squares. So she redrafted everything into 12 inch squares and did a side by side setting. It is just fabulous to see. I mean, I who would have thought? Cindy did two versions of the solstice. She took it and split it into two quilts because she didn't need a big quilt at that time. Uh, so I love the black and red and white. It is so gorgeous. Cindy shared a uh, table topper from my tantalizing table topper book and look front and center in there is a, a cardinal and then her beautiful candlesticks. Debbie was just getting her hometown charms uh, finished, which is pretty good. Just getting it done, that's pretty good. And she's gonna quilt it next year. It's done in patriotic fabrics and you can see all around the edges, she put uh, the pinwheels and I really like that. Dot has her sweater weather done. I am jealous, Dot, jealous, jealous. Yours is so gorgeous. All those different yellow shades of yellow. Elaine shared her grandma's kitchen and she said she really loved doing this and picking the fabrics and looking at them up close you can see she has a lot of fun fabrics including uh, some like milk bottles this so darling George Ann did the hometown charms and added in hand prints look at the hand prints uh, so she did a sort of a family story with that so gorgeous I love Jessica's finish for her Christmas time quilt we did this summer. Well, it was late summer, <laughs> but the colors are amazing. I love it on that gray. Joanne bought the pattern for this scissors and spools because she's going to do the uh, quilt along that we have starting in end of January. Uh, but she wanted to do one block uh, for her sewing space. Isn't that cute? See, this is going to be so darling. Now, Kim has a little collage uh, in the corner. <clears throat> she does the little trees that we did together and up in the top left I spy my butterfly block from the socialites Lorna also reduced the size of my uh, blocks <laughs> for the solstice um, and then she ran out of fabric so she only did as many blocks as she had fabric for 
she also did, and I had to show you this, it's not my design or anything, but I think it's an awesome throwback, a very classic uh, Debbie Mum Santa. And I don't know how many of you have made that Debbie Mum Santa. I had the book. I never did make the quilt, I don't think. If I did, I don't have it anymore. But I just, it's just very classic, and I love it. Michelle shared her Oh My Stars, and I have to read what she said. She, she finally finished my Oh My Stars using old 1970s era poly or poly cotton fabric, shirting scraps, pockets, etc. She says her mother-in-law worked in a shirt factory and was able to get leftover pieces for her crafting and sewing. They, they, were, the rig, they were the original pre-cuts, says, uh, says Michelle. So she passed away more than 20 years ago. I have a huge bin of these and I'm making various items to give to her surviving children. It is not pleasant fabric to work with, but hopefully the items will be appreciated in the memory of mom. The stars, she says, are teal, uh, and they're not quite as dark as they look in the picture. But what it is fabulous and such a great story, and it will definitely be, be loved. And then the last one is Rhonda's Made With My Birdsong Fabric. And this is a pattern called Jubilee, which I have on my list to do because every time I've seen it made up in any fabric, it is amazing. And her uh, version with my birdsong fabric is spectacular. Thank you to everyone for sharing your gorgeous quilts in the community, Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. Uh, so fun to see your wonderful, wonderful makes. All right, I need to make a little quick pillow. My neighbor, John, has, a, has kitties, and so I thought I'd do him a little black and white pillow with the kitties. Now, this is my thought of where I'm going. It's kind of a, I got sort of a decent sized pillow form. Uh, so I'm thinking like a nine patch with the plaid this is what i'm thinking let me just move this here there we go okay so the kitties will be like um oops there we go we know how to make a nine patch right didn't forget that all right so this is what i'm thinking is a nine patch like this and then a little inner border and then i could either do the plaid again or i could do the polka dot as a, the border won't be very big It'd be like a little tiny inner border and then this and then i also have this sort of micro dot which um yeah i'm not as keen on that it looks actually it doesn't look bad in person on camera it looks kind of flat like it's kind of too tonal but in person it's pretty good and i have enough of that i could do the backing in this i also have this cute little animal print um, this sort of, I call it a Dalmatian print. Uh, so I don't know, dogs and cats. He used to have dogs too. Uh, but right now he just has two cats. So that could be, that could go on there. Uh, whew, but I don't have to decide till I sew these. So I'm going to sew the four of those together. And then what I will do is do the border and I will quilt it. But I'll show you the steps as I go. As I finish each step, I'll stop and hang, hold it up. <laughs> so if you are sewing a, uh, a final Christmas gift today with me. Uh, hopefully you'll feel encouraged to keep going to get it done because I am going to quilt the top on this, but it's a very simple, this is very simple. So anyways, I know he'll like it. He, he's a maker. He likes to make things. And so uh, he will, he appreciates uh, handmade things uh, made with the heart. And that's what we do. Okay. Let me get working. <laughs> All right. The nine patch is done. And I, I decided I'm just going to use the plaid. So I will do, whoops, <laughs> I will do a little inner border on black and then the plaid, and then I will quilt it with the wave. And I believe I might do like a cross hatch for the wave, like um, through the center and then on either side of it through this to quilt the front of it and then cut the backing pieces and it's a pillow. So. Let's get her done. Oh, by the way, you should be wearing your Santa hat today when you're sewing. Time to get the strips cut. So I've got the black and I am just going to cut, could just trim up the edge here. And then I think I will cut like a one, just a one inch strip. So it's just a tiny little black uh, piece around it. So I have one inch strip of the black and then I am just going to oversize a bit and cut two inch strips from this, which will be more than I need. So then when I quilt it, it will, um, 
sometimes when you quilt it, it pulls in just a little bit. So I will have enough then, I think, for the, the top. So I will double check that because I have a, a decent sized pillow. I think it's like a, what was it like? Yeah, it's like an, it says it's an 18 inch pillow, but I always just like to lay it on top just to be sure so that I'm not too short. So I'm going to oversize it just a little bit with the border. Okay. I really like it with the border like this. I'm going to check. I don't think I have enough of this plaid to do the backing. So if not, I will do it in the black, but this, this turned out super cute. And then I will put my walking foot on and quilt the front of this with the waist stitch in the diagonal going across, across, and then splitting through each, uh, each area over. So yeah. There we go. So here's what I'm doing for the plan. I went diagonal with the wave stitch, you know, all the way across here, all the way out, and then diagonal across again, the other direction. And now I'm doing one on either side, one on either side. And you can see, I haven't done these yet, right? So I'll come back and do one on either side. And that way it'll be really nicely quilted uh, for this gift. Here you can see the quilting. I have a piece of white fabric on the back. Here's the front, the batting's in the middle. So it's, it's actually a little quilt, the, you know, so that I don't have raw batting here to put it in and out of the pillowcase, particularly for a gift with people who may not know how to handle that. If it was for mine, I probably could do it, but it's just cleaner to do it, plus less lint in your machine. So there's what the design looks like and how I did it. I like that. Of course, you don't see it as much on the front, but now I'll just do the back. I'm going to check again, see if I have enough of this plaid, but I don't think I do. So I think the back will be the, uh, the black fabric here. So that'll be cute. Here it is finished. A little kitty cat, little kitty cat pillow for my friend, John, that lives, he actually lives right next door to us. <laughs> so this is for him. Ah, it looks so good. Don't you think? And the back, I was able to get enough of the plaid. I didn't even have to piece it. Thank goodness. I wasn't going to piece it. Uh, I could have pieced like the underneath, like part of the underneath part, but I didn't have to do that. I had just enough. I like maybe had a little trimming left and a little bit off the the length. So that was perfect. 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 Used it all up. This was a Kimberbell fabric, I believe from this year. So if I can find it at Fat Quarter Shop, if it's still there, I'll link it. But otherwise check Kimberbell's site if you're looking for this fabulous plaid. Okay. Now today was fun for me to do because I was filming and sewing and just uh, went for a walk. I went and got a Starbucks. Thank you to you and you and you for the cards for these. And I had a neighbor stop by and drop a, a little Prezi off. Um, and the elves left more things in my mailbox. So let's take a look at what came today in the mail call. I have this beautiful card from Jan in Tennessee. Look how pretty, pretty that is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love that. Love the wreath. And Kathleen sent a card. Kathleen is in Kansas. This is a really pretty card. Look at that. I love that so many of you address the cards to both Greg and I. That's so sweet. So, so sweet. And she sent along a yummy card so I can get a refill on that. <laughs> get another one, another day. Uh, let's see. We have, this is a super cute from Suzanne in New York. So she had, look at the card. Look how darling that is. I used to have dogs. Greg and I had two dogs. We had a mutt and a chocolate lab, a black mutt. And he had sort of long hair. Look sort of kind of like a border collie-ish kind of dog. So sweet. Ted was his name and Brandy was the chocolate lab. So what did she send me? She sent me some black forest gummies. Look at those. There's pineapple flavor, apple, strawberry, orange, lemon, and cherry. Okay. I really want to taste the pineapple. That sounds so good. And then she also sent along that I did read the card. So these, these are, <laughs> these are fun. They are ugly sweaters, <laughs> ugly Christmas sweaters. You know, the whole thing, the ugly Christmas sweaters, she sent a whole little collection of them. <laughs> They're so cute. That one's cute. I might wear that one. So darling. Oh, look at the snowman. These are just, they're just cute. Look at them. You can put a little like garland and hang them up. So cute with little buttons on them and things. Oh, that's so creative. That's, <laughs> 
our ambassador Lileen sent me this beautiful I gotta hold it put my hand here can you see it the beautiful cardinal look at that it is gorgeous then she also texted me she goes ah, I forgot to put the card in <laughs> oh so the beautiful cardinal love it love it love it and let's see this is from Nancy who is often in our morning chat so hi Nancy and Nancy is in Pennsylvania she, this is the card she sent with the, it's a Charlie Harper uh, artwork, which is just gorgeous. She said these are the kind of birds she often sees at her feeder. And there is Charlie Harper uh, licensed fabric, which is fabulous. I do have a few pieces of it. I've never sewn with it. It's just in a box waiting for something special. And then she sent me along this super cute little ornament that she said she made a few years ago. It's a little mouse in a walnut shell and that's his little tail hanging down Let's see if i can hold that up can you see him look how cute look how cute he is ah, so so like a nut head and little pom-poms so cute thank you thank you thank you all of you and now i have the last one here is from maureen Maureen in California and she her elves were busy so she packed my little box with quite a few goodies this is the card and it's kind of a um, a storybook so I'll just show you like it opens up and there's just a look for things so cute that is really really nice uh, then there was look at the mushroom look at the mushroom with little candy canes and then inside there is these are just there's a mint bar mint crisps that sounds good Irish confectioner it's just gonna say crisps are well they're actually chips I think for the British but um, crisp things like that often are things from the UK but from Ireland too so okay and then look one of these star folded stars red red everything red right so I'm blending in everything's blending in with my red shirt today that's red <laughs> then she sent me a whole bunch of other goodies in here and I have to tell you that she has an Etsy store let me just show you her card so I'll put a link down below in the description box of the video so so she sent me a whole bunch of different goodies there's some super cute um, look at the mushroom okay, everything's in a bag here she's got all these goodies oh my goodness I just have to show you these with the mushrooms. Look at that. Look how I haven't seen that one. Look how cute that is. And then some other really sweet, sweet, sweet fabrics. But wait, there's more. She sent me a bunch of aqua squares. This is, I can't wait to get back to that quilt. I cannot wait. As soon as sweater weather is done, I'm back on it. Back on it. And oh, <laughs> this is darling darling dar hedgehogs mushrooms owls oh my goodness oh my goodness so cute so cute mushrooms mushrooms look at the little cross stitch <gasps> this will be so cute in my tray on my dining room table thank you so much did you stitch that it is so cute oh we have beautiful smelling soap this is, this is kitchen soap, organic olive oil, raw goat's milk, and lavender essence oil. It smells divine. Look at the pack. Whoops, it come, it's on a little, its own little um, wooden stand. There's another packet of yummy fabrics, which I will, I will look into. More mushrooms on there. But, oh, there looks like some good stuff in that, in there. And... I didn't get the card open. Did there's, are there two cards in here? You gave me two cards? Oh my goodness, you did give me two cards. Look at the front of that one. So pretty, so pretty. I will read that one then. And there's, there's a few, just a couple more things. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, <laughs> it's an easy button. I have always wanted one of these. It just spoke. That was easy. There we go. <laughs> oh and look here look here a gnome ornament he is beautiful it's like one of those like glass ones yeah and a little look at this he is for my for my uh tray out there like oh the mushroom and a red starbucks card i mean cu cup not card cup look at that 
This is an excellent size. Everything's matching. Everything's matching with my top today. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you, everybody. The elves were very busy. <laughs> they are just wonderful, wonderful things you send. Oh, I feel very uh, spoiled. Very spoiled. Uh, now, okay, we have, if you're sewing, sewing the Snapdragon blocks. Ta-da! These are the two for today. Uh, and I have, you know, full pictures of them on my website. And I will put them... Uh, put them up there and also I believe just have to show you again Ta -da! now this is uh, my Merry Christmas to all of you uh, for the next couple of days I'm going to take a break from doing videos and the next video will be on Tuesday after Christmas so have a beautiful beautiful time with your family with your friends with um, all of your community so I love you Mwah. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. Merry Christmas. I will see you online.